Hello and welcome to the Braunbrook Pitches at the University of Birmingham. Today is the first Bucks Wednesday of 2013 and we'll be bringing you coverage of the men's rugby in our big match as well as a sports focus on women's football. Additionally, we'll be giving you the scores from this week's fixtures. This is Sports Report. So today's Bucks match is a face-off between the UOB men's rugby blues and the yellows. It is a Bucks fixture, so it's all to play for. Let's have a look at the video highlights with Burn FM commentary team. This is indeed a top of the table clash in Midlands 2A. The Birmingham 2s currently have the advantage over the third, having played one game more, but both sides are unbeaten with 100% records. But of course, something's got to give. That must change today. And Birmingham 2 is looking much the better side so far, moving the ball far easier. The 2s take it on. They're breaking the defence. They get it out wide to the far flank and in for the first score of the game. There's number 15. That's Harding out on that far left-hand side. And the 3s defence just falls apart there. Yeah, and the extra two points, no good, it dropped well short of the goalpost there. And the twos need to look to move this out wide, get themselves a bit more space, and they do so now. And Battersbury gives it on, and the number seven, Hawks just stopped short. Give it the VT now, he's down, but no, he does get up, so that's a relief. And now Chance they here. get a cut ball, and it's going to be a second try of the match for the Birmingham twos, right under the goalpost. And the twos lead, stretched to ten now. And um, now the fullback Harding is going to be taking the kick. And makes no mistake this time, and the lead is now 12. That was much better, but of course, very easy angle there, right in front of the post. And again, he looks to have just been stopped shy, inches short of the goal line, and they move the ball this time, and acres of space on the left hand side. And it's finished off by Dedicote for the opening Birmingham 3's try. The two's just got players sucked in eventually there and again penalty conceded by the Blues and they take the quick tap and the space out on the right hand side but hadn't quite let themselves get set up there oh, lovely and offload he's in for the try out on that right hand side there's our standing handling from the Birmingham thirds there it was, offload. and McSporran I believe is the man to take advantage of it and again, the Yellows taking advantage of some ill-discipline from the Blues to cut that deficit down to two with the two-point conversion to come. You would expect. It's high, it's looping, and it's good this time. And it's all tied up here. Game on, Josh. We're level at 12. Well, in all kinds of space on the right, but the captain, Coombs, is down. Strong, bursting run, he breaks a tackle and he looks like he might go all the way and stop just shy. Crucial chance there, but still not been clear. Brilliant bruising run there. There's the number 13, that was Swan. They stopped just shy and we'll see what they do. They spread it wide early this time and there's space out on the left if they can move it quick. But he goes for it himself, Coombs, he's back on his feet and he goes over and for the first time in the match the threes the yellows take the lead brilliant from Coombs Josh absolutely brilliant quick feet he had men outside him but he didn't need them and he went under the post too to hopefully make the kick a bit easier and the two points is good this time so the lead is stretched to seven it's 19-12 All is still with the blue. pushing forward and they have space out on the left hand side and in for the touchdown goes Frith, the captain. Terrific pass from 17, the substitute made all the difference there. And eventually that pressure does tell. And now it'll be a difficult conversion, but a chance to tie the game up. And he's hooked his kick left, and the Yellows will keep a slender two-point advantage here. 17, Josh. Could be a thrilling final 15 minutes here. So Battersby will be kicking. Big moment in the season. Steadies himself. And the kick is good. And now it's 2019 with 11 minutes left to play. And they move it forward. Need to make sure they stay in bounds here. And the Blues force them into touch. And that is the final whistle. It's 20-19. to 19 And... A fantastic match here, great advertisement and 
we can only hope that the Yellows can recover in time for that big Coventry match next week. Hi George, a really, really close match. Was that what we were expecting today from the Blues and the Yellows? Uh, yeah, I think we're clearly the two best teams in the league and I think the score reflected that. Um, and it, did, I just, uh, it shows great depth that we've got within the whole club kind of thing that our kind of two teams are so evenly matched. So yeah, really, really pleased with the scoreline. So what are the hopes for the rest of the season for the Yellows? Um, I think Yellows yeah, still competing for top top of the league. We've got another game against the Blues in about three weeks' time. And so hopefully if we win by a couple more points than them, uh, score a couple of tries, uh, I think we can uh, really kind of take nick that first spot off them. So, yeah. Next week, Coventry, third in the league. That's a away game. How are you feeling about that one? Um, yeah, they gave us a really good game at home. But I think if we played, if we build on this, this uh, performance, I think we won't be able to contain us because we beat them by about 11 points at home, so we're looking for the same again. Right, Nick Frith, thank you very much for joining us. How was today's game for you? Um, it was a lot of fun, obviously. It's always a strange one when two teams play each other from the same club. Um, and we thought we were the favourites before the game, but we're given a bit of a scare. But to come through it in the end and show a bit of grit towards the end and pull back from a, a from a behind and find the win, obviously, got to be happy with that. So how friendly really is this rivalry between you top two teams at the at the top of the league? Obviously, there's a lot of jokes uh, each week at training about who's going to beat each other if we're playing each other and stuff like that. But it's actually been really useful um, because obviously one of us will play one team in the league and be able to have a talk to the other team and see what they were like when they played them, sort of get a mini scout report from the opposition. So it's, got, it's been really helpful. So where do you think the Blues will end up the rest of the season? What are we hoping for? Well, obviously, standard season league would be brilliant uh, to get promoted. The highest standard rugby next year would be brilliant for the club. And we're still in the uh, Cup as well, um, uh, I think into the quarterfinals so of the Midlands Cup. So if we could go all the way in that and do a double, that would be obviously that'd be brilliant. Last year, we covered women's football in the big match. And after a fantastic home win, we decided to revisit them in training. My name is Hannah Parham and I play right back for the, for the team and I'm um, club captain of the women's football team. Uh, we train twice a week on a Monday and a Thursday evening and uh, Mondays are more tactical about the game on Wednesday depending on who we're playing and Thursdays uh, progressing from the game on Wednesday to see where we can pr improve and move on from there. Uh, the best way to get in touch is to go onto the uni website, onto the football team and uh, my contact details are on there and if someone's interested they can uh, email me and come along and see if they want to try out for the team in the oncoming season. Yeah, if you're an elite performer and want to uh, come and play for the uni team you need to go onto the website and contact me via my email address and see if you can come and get involved with the squad. The games that we play in are obviously like we're the highest uh, we can be at the moment um, and we're progressing to try and win both leagues and we also play in a futsal tournament which we're currently through to the Bucks final so there's a lot of environments that girls don't normally play in so it's good to get everyone involved and um, the team dynamic is re really good on and off the pitch we train hard but play even harder and we just have a good laugh with everybody. Um, I'd say for the past four years I've played for it I've loved every minute of it and I'd love everyone to come and get involved to have the same experience that I have. So as it's the first Bucks Wednesday, not many teams played, but these are the scores that we have in for you. At the end of the first set of fixtures in 2013, the men's hockey third team unfortunately lost to Loughborough seconds. In lacrosse, the women's first were victorious against their Loughborough counterparts, running out 12-5 winners. And of course, after a tense match, the Rugby Blues continued their unbeaten run, beating the Yellows 2019. So that's all from us this week, but if you would like to get in contact with us, please do not hesitate to use the hashtag sportsreport. Otherwise, we'll see you next week at Thursday, 11am.